Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachah Kodash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They continue to rule very well to this very day that is feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And also, as well, uh, Shalom uh, to the hopeful elect as well that's continually laboring his work and also do labor in faith. That's uh, continuing to uh, spread this gospel to the other members of the hopeful elect <coughs> in faith, in truth, and sincerity, and all charity. And uh, the topic of this video is uh, going to be entitled Them That Did Not Eat the Roll. Okay, Them That Did Not Eat the Roll. And the role in question is talking about this doctrine. Okay, the doctrine which has been taught from the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and even as well <clears throat> their elders. All right, starting with uh, Abba Bivens, uh, High Priest Yaquab, uh, King Masha. The doctrine has been taught from um, the ones that came before. <clears throat> you know, that doctrine. Is still uh, kept to this very day, all right. And more edification has been brought out through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai by, by way of the men of the Lord, which starts with again the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the rest of the brothers who have also learned on the apostles and the elders, okay. And the ones who have not eaten the roll, okay, it is best to know or should, or should behoove you not to uh, take heed of these individuals now when I'm when I say this statement I'm talking about the ones who are you know that are new to this, to this uh, truth that I've just uh, woken up to that nationality and also as well even the ones that are seasoned you know you know the, to be weary of uh, <clears throat> being around guys like this you know even though you know it's we're in setting the, as the defense of the gospel as we uh, ought to do, right? But, you know, for the ones that are uh, kind of seasoned, should I say, you know, it's, it's, it's best to, uh, you know, take take heed around these guys, all right? Because, <clears throat> you know, when, when you get into the, the doctrines that these other camps teach, and that's the reason why I have uh, this, this screenshot of this image at the beginning of this video is because uh, this is this is uh, the, the the equivalent of having mixed wine okay the mixing of strong drink okay because every single camp outside of Great Millstone has their own thing they have, they have their own doctrine they don't believe in the same thing that uh, each and every one of those camps believe in, man. That's, and they have the nerve to say that the camps, that when they come together, they have a unity camp. Well, what are you having a unity camp under, you know? Well, what's the purpose of having a unity camp when they all teach different things? And also as well, why would they even have a unity camp when knowing good and well that since they all have a, a different doctrine, that's not going to edify the elect, okay? And the only explanation that really that you can even consider or come up with is that they're not doing it for the elect. They're not uh, trying to edify the elect or, or even have the slightest interest in trying to uh, build up the elect, okay? Really, they're trying to uh, build up themselves in vanity, Okay, and make themselves look good in the sight of the people. And that's a common thing with Israel. Okay, Israel always try to show out for vain glory. Okay, and, uh, and, and leaving off the doctrine of Yahweh about Shemuel Shai just, just uh, be modified whichever way they want to modify it just to satisfy the people. And it's no different than the false prophets that were uh, residing in. in, in um, Speaking lies in the name of Yahweh about Shemuel Shai. Okay, because you have false prophets that were in that were uh, here during in the ancient world that prophesied according to their own heart and also to uh, to satisfy the people. 
Okay, because there's a scripture where it says uh, the prophet that prophesied of strong drink, uh, even he shall be a prophet of this people. Okay, so these other camps, you know, these uh, self proclaimed prophets that teach wayward doctrines, they're just prophets of the people. Okay. They're prophets of these modern-day Babylonians. They're not prophets of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai. If they were, then they would teach according to the doctrine, the correct doctrine, all right, of Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai. And yes, we do have the correct doctrine of Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai. We have 100% of it. Okay, and we say that boldly. All right, why? Because that's through the Spirit. Okay? It's evident that these things which are written and that, that are being broken down and taught by the apostles and elders, these things are true. Okay? But it's like, you know, like the scriptures say, or it goes into the topic of the Lord having to open the eyes or open your spiritual eye to see that. To see these things which are being broken down. Okay? So again, man, just be beware of these, these false prophets because they're out, man. They're out and about. Alright? The Lord, and, and the Lord has raised up these false prophets, alright? Just for the sake of sifting. And that's a scary thing, man, because the Lord really, he did this for the sake of prophecy. Somebody got to fulfill that role of being uh, the false prophet. Okay, the Lord said it's going to happen, and guess what? He's allowing it to happen. Okay? And he has false prophets that are appointed that lot to be false prophets. Okay? So they're playing their roles the way they're supposed to. Okay? So I'm going to jump to the precepts. Uh, first, I want to grab uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6. It's at verse 3. It says, If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, in which these are the wholesome words, which we read out of, okay, the scriptures, it says, Even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, because he even tells you that the Lord comes in the volume of the book. Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book. It says, Into the doctrine, which is according to godliness. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words. Okay? And that's these guys, man. Okay? Because what the things that they teach, you know, is, is questionable. Okay? Because what they teach is is, is that um, what they teach, you, you have to go into the scriptures, and if it doesn't line up with it, in which, of course, when you go into it, going to the things that they teach you know it doesn't line up with the bible it doesn't line up with other precepts okay that's what it means by doting about questions okay and they also get asked questions too by uh the people that follow them and they can't answer them because they don't have the answers okay so like i mentioned before with itr and fopi iuic these other israelite camps that that uh that are out all right these other camps man you know the, the lord is going to break up these camps okay because at the end of the day it's all about the elect okay because even us we know that every single brother or every single person in great millstone you know not everyone in great millstone is right man all right you got some you got some guys in great millstone that are not that are not right okay and that's why again it's about the elect okay and the elect are going to do things according to what the scriptures say. All right? And conduct themselves accordingly. Now, read on. It says, uh, where, Whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds. All right? Because their minds are corrupted, man. And what, what is it corrupted with? It corrupted with the, uh, the cares of this world. Okay, and that goes into the parable of the sower, when the seed fell on the ground. But guess what? That ground was full of thorns, and and, and those thorns choked the word. All right, which the thorns represents the cares of this life, the cares of this world, and the riches. Okay, and the scriptures also tell you to be a soldier. All right, soldiers of your of Yahweh Shai. Okay, that is not entangled. With the affairs of his life. Okay, reading on, it says, and destitute of the truth. 
because they don't have 100% of the truth, all right? The truth is the truth, man, all right? And by the way, there's no such thing as, as you know, his truth, her truth, my truth, their truth. No, man, it's the truth, okay? The 100% truth. You can't put nothing into it. You can't take anything out of it. And, and the Bible tells you that too. Any man that uh, take away from these words, the Lord's going to take away his name out of the book of life. If any man add to these words, he's going to add on to the plays which are written in this book. Okay. All right. And it says here, and this is, the, this is a commandment. It says, from such, withdraw thyself. Okay. That's a commandment. From such, withdraw thyself. So these, these guys that are in these other Israelite -like camps, hey, if you're a part of the elect, if you're sincere, hey, get away from these guys, man. Okay. Because they are going to lead you straight to the uh the fire man they're gonna lead you straight to, to destruction okay now um we'll move on from there it's another scripture i want to grab and uh, i believe it's in first timothy Like it. Right, let me grab this one. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse uh, 16, it says, Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Okay? Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Okay? And the ones that hear us. Are the elect of the nation of Israel Okay The ones that hear the words of Yahweh Ba Shemel Shai That's, that's the sheep uh, Pursuant to uh, John the 10th chapter Okay The elect of the nation of Israel And um It's like let me skip down a little bit There's another one I want to grab Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, this uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 4, verse 3, it says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Okay? And sound doctrine is pure. Okay? That's why the scriptures tell you, I believe it's in the book of Proverbs, if I'm not mistaken. It says that uh, the Lord gives us good doctrine. Okay? So it says uh, when they, uh, there's going to come a point in time when they're not going to endure sound doctrine. Okay? And, and this is the sound doctrine, man. This is this is sound, okay? Something that's sound is something that's in order, right? It's, it's balanced. It gives you comfort, okay? Uh, but after their own lusts, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, Okay, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. He said, but watch, but watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. And this is how you make full proof of your ministry by doing the work. Okay, proof basically, another word for proof is evidence. Okay. Because when we see these guys that call themselves prophets, where are their works? Where, where's the proof of their works? Okay? Because they don't go out in the highways and byways. All right? You might catch them every blue moon that they go out. Or you might have uh, the, the, the lower guys that are going out on the highways and byways. But the leaders are, are just sitting there, man. Not doing anything. Okay? Sitting comfortably, man, on the lazy boys, on the couches, man. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back. All right, this is uh, Second John chapter one. 
is at verse 10. It says, if there come, if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, all right, which is the doctrine, again, that is taught by the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and taught by the rest of the brothers that are in Great Millstone, okay, which again, that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yonshai. It says, what? Receive him not into your house, neither bid him Godspeed. Okay? So, the ones that are not teaching this, this doctrine, look, man, you have a harsh judgment coming to you, man. Okay? Just like the scriptures say, bid him not, uh, bid him not Godspeed. All right, or don't bid him Godspeed, okay? Because the end of the ones who teach not according to this doctrine, the end of them is going to be confusion, and rightfully so, because the doctrine they teach is, is is confusing, man. Okay, it doesn't line up with the precepts. You know, a precept is not upon precept. A line is not upon line, and and and, and the ones that are teaching. According, according to uh, their own hearts Alright, they can't do that They can't line up scripture with scripture Okay If they did Then um, they would get caught up in their own words In case in point, ITR uh, This guy Whom uh, formerly Or used to be called Nazariah Alright He got tripped up in his own words When he tried to uh, bring out When he tried to break down the missiles Alright and on uh, the destruction of Babylon the Great, in which he's saying that Babylon the Great is Vatican City, in which there's no scripture that bags up that that's talking about Vatican City. Okay. It's like him. <clears throat> All right, I want to grab one last piece up. This is the book of Sirach. And um, this is Rock uh, chapter 21. I'm gonna start at verse, uh, I'm gonna start at verse 18. It says, As is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. And the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense. All right? In other words, nonsense. Okay? Verse 19, it says, Doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet and like manacles on the right hand. See, and that's the point. So, doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet, man. Okay? You know, fetters, putting your feet in, uh, in, in fetters, right? In other words, that represents hardship, man. Okay? It, it's, it's a burden. And also like manacles. Manacles is like shackles. Okay? So it's, it's burdensome when it comes to the doctrine of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, man. That's why, again, you know, they teach according to what they think the scriptures is talking about. Or their own breakdown. You know, basically, it's a, when it comes to these guys, it's a race to find out. Or it's a race to see who's going to have the best breakdown. Who's going to have the most fiery best breakdown out of Israel. All right? Which again, like I mentioned earlier, is that these guys, you know, their their agenda is to look good. That's it. All right. But also as well, like I mentioned before, is that look, you have to beware of these guys, man. All right, and the ones, and and again, the ones who are amongst these camps, you know, the Lord's gonna bring them out if they're of the elect. Okay. And we're gonna all be in a unity, man. All right, the, uh, a real unity camp. Okay, because what unifies us together is the word of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. All right, that's what unifies us, man. That's that's the real unity camp. The the elect as a whole, that's the unity camp right there. Okay, because we all speak the same thing, which Lord's will, we're a part of that number. Okay. 
So with that, I'm going to go ahead and close it out on that note. Uh, Lord's will, this was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Again, we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well to this day. Uh, Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the whole elect. Uh, continually laboring his work. And also giving your diligence to make your calling, election sure, and faith, and truth and sincerity, and all charity. And with that, it was a Shalom.